Hi, today I want to show you two widgets that are all about productivity. Well, in the past years I used to have a top panel with centered three applets. The first one was the event calendar, which I have showed you last week. The second one was the to-do list, which is this one. And it looks like a simple to-do list, and by the way, this is by Zayran again. But it's actually really powerful. First of all, we can actually organize our to-dos in a, well, like this, using tab to make uh, the to-do list switch a bit to the right. And this way we can actually drag and drop them for them to create like categories and so on. And we can actually create more than one category, like we can set a category name and we can have two of them. I need to remember how to actually create a new one, but if we give a look to the settings of this little thing, let me open up settings. You can see that first of all, well, you can decide to hide the widget when it's on the desktop, show the background, which I think is not necessary in this case. And then we can also select whether to, uh, how to behave when a item is completed. And my suggestion is to actually remove this one and leave the other two, which means that when you actually complete something, it will make it like this. You can still remove this element completely. I don't remember how, but it's still possible. Maybe just dragging it away. I'm trying to remember how I was used to use this applet. And just like this, you can have categories and stuff like that, really, with all of important stuff to do, like this. And then the next applet is called, let me, open up, ah yeah, one more thing. We can actually open up in our favorite text editor all of the stuff. For some reason right now it won't do it, but uh, there's a local file which you can check out uh, in order to do that. Kate uh, is crashing, thank you Kate. Whereas the second widget is called the tomato, sorry, the pomo, focus, okay, it's called focus. I remember the tagline, which is Pomodoro Timer, which of course I translated to tomato, that is Pomodori in Italian. And uh, what this widget does is just to record your time doing a task. So if you have like 25 minutes of focusing, you just start it and focus on the task for 25 minutes. I've actually set up mine for 90 minutes, which is maybe a bit too much for a focus session, but I actually have a list of things to do and each element to do actually has in brackets like 25 minutes and that's the time I'm going to dedicate to it. So I've got something like KD video about productivity, which is, uh, I, I think I set it to 20 minutes. So I have 20 minutes to do this video and usually I right click this one, configure focus, and then here set up the timer that's in the bracket, so 20 minutes. And then I'll pop up and start it. And I can see right in the panel, anywhere, any desktop that I'm in, I can see that this uh, dark highlight is going to become progressively, well, it's, it's a timer. So let, let me set something very small so you can actually see it. Let's make one minute and uh, stop and, and start. And you will be able to see that it's actually counting down so I can visually see how much time I have left, left for my task. So I can see, oh, half of the time is already spent so I better speed up or something like that. And it actually helps me keep focus on what I'm doing. And when the focus session is finished, I can, well, skip to the pose like this and I have a five minute short break where I can do anything. Usually watch chess videos on YouTube because yeah. And then the next one again 25 minutes and again I'll usually configure it for it, for it to be the amount of time I've actually set it up on the to-do list. 
I can also decide on what the short and long breaks should be, so 5 minutes and 20 minutes. I can choose the timer font. Lots of cool uh, fonts. Let's see if I can get... Um, uh, what was the name of it? Please... Uh, okay, I, I have too many fonts to actually be able to go through them and find the one I'm looking for. So let's go for the default one. And I can also choose a notification sound for when I started, for when it's ended. And I can also choose scripts to run, such as, I don't know, xrand, rotate, to rotate the screen something. I don't remember the exact command for no reason at all. But I mean, that that's the whole point. It's completely customizable which means that you can do pretty much anything with it. And now that I've set a start sound, we should be able to start it and hear the sound. Yeah, it's probably not getting picked up by the microphone. But these two widgets plus the event calendar are just a productivity killer for me. And if I'm allowed to say, allowed to say one more thing, that's I, my suggestion is to have like big goal and then medium goal and here you should have like well l let me define big goal big goal is something that you achieve in like six months a medium goal is something you achieve in a week or two and then you have a list of all the small things that you have to do in like 20 minutes 25 minutes or even, I don't know, 20 minutes. So I have like, as, an, uh, as a practical example, write uh, actually six months, so uh, write a poem, because I actually write poems as well. And then I'll just add a new one, which is going to be uh, a week or two. I mean, there's not much I can do in a week or two, but write a, a stanza. I don't know if you know what the stanza is. And then I'll have even smaller, write the opening paragraph, 20 minutes, actually, let's go 90 minutes, more realistic, stuff like that. I mean, categorize your things in very small things, set how much time you want each thing to be, and then open up focus, set focus to that time, and start it, and focus on that. And if you're not giving your task enough att attention, or if you messed up your initial plan of time, then sit back and try again, reschedule, make a more realistic timeline and stuff like that. I think that's, your, I think that's uh, important to be organized after all.